Okay, so that was the was that the second vocalist that we had from Fiverr for our it is, song? It is. Her name is I don't know how to pronounce her name. It's A O I D E Ioid. I'm uh, not sure. From, Where is she's she from? from uh, Pakistan. Okay. Okay. Um, and yeah, this is really getting global now. I think. Did you say like we didn't get anybody from the U.S. Right? We got. We did not get anyone from the U.S. Um, so, okay. So, what's your reaction to it first, and then I'll. Uh, I'll weigh in. I really like this version. I liked what she did. I, this one again was only 12 bucks. Um, and I, only reason I went with her is because she was cheap and she responded quickly. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't say, Oh my God, this is the most perfect singer we're going to have for this project, but I actually enjoyed working with her. She's a sweet girl. Um, we had great conversations about the song and the problem we had was with the mixing mm -hmm. because she was using a pro different program on her end. And I actually had to give her the backing tracks and have her put her music on top instead of me doing it in GarageBand. So oh, this is I the, get you. This is one of the ones where we actually had file problems, which was an interesting problem to have because it's another learning experience from Fiverr as to what works and what doesn't. Okay, yeah. I, I can imagine that that would cause a, a, a bit of a headache having to deal with the different programs. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I I thought this sounded nice. Um, I like her voice. I, yeah. I I think she has like a real, I don't know, like a gentle sounding voice. Like it's almost something you would hear more in pop music than than metal, right. maybe. But right. I like voices like that. I, I don't know what her range is, but but whatever that range is, that's one of the ranges that I think I gravitate towards as a listener. Um, so so I thought that it worked, and 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 I felt that she was doing a few things that were kind of interesting rhythmically as well. So, you know, it was, it, you know, again, I, 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 it's not like I, I, I probably should have listened to the first one too, just now, just so I could compare and contrast them immediately together. And I'm sort of struggling to, to remember all of the previous recordings now, but, uh, but yeah, I, th I thought that, I thought that fit, especially how much did you say we, we paid for this one? $12. 12. So that's not too bad. I'd say for, uh, for 12 bucks. Um, any and two of those dollars go to Fiverr, so she only gets ten of it. Oh, that's how. But but it's still that's how much we'd have to pay. Um, yeah, that's. I mean, I suppose. Now let me ask you this: Can, can people work around Fiverr? Can they meet on Fiverr but pay on? They can, PayPal? but then you run the risk because Fiverr's an escrow. They mm -hmm. don't get their money until I approve the file. And oh. so, uh, if if I go the runaround, which I obviously can do, and go through PayPal, there's no necessarily there's no accountability that way so oh I guess I'm you. happy to spend the two bucks or the five bucks depending on how much you're ordering um, to make sure that we're both happy with the process especially with people in other parts of the world now what are you noticing now that we're on to vocals and you've done your second uh, vocal production I guess what are you noticing about this part of the, of the song building process that seems different from the other parts I think you were the one that wanted a female vocalist, which I was happy to do. Uh, but I don't think the song we wrote fits a female voice. Okay. And okay. I, and that's not sexist. I think people need to at least recognize that men and women have different kinds of voices. Um, and I, I wish I'd uh, written it differently. The, the other pieces differently so that we could have planned for a female vocalist. Okay. I mean, I don't know. If, I, I don't know if I agree with that or not. I feel like, I feel like, any vocalist can work on any song provided because it's just a matter of, well, a, a male vocalist would obviously be some octaves below, but, but I, I don't know. I, I feel like you could, I, like, I, I like the contrast because we have kind of a deep sounding song and having the higher register to me, I think can fit. But, um, but I do hear what you're saying. Like, uh, like what to you would be appropriate music for female vocals in metal? I don't have a great answer for that because I like a lot of female vocalists, um, which breed okay. unleash the archer ginger. And those vocalists just seem to have th those songs are being written with their range in mind. Um, and we talked extensively about yeah. unleash the archer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I just think that if, if these guys had known the kind of voice they were going to be writing for, things would have gone differently. Okay. Well, it, I think that's always true. That's always yeah. true. 
Um, so now we're playing the game of we keep testing out singers because the other tracks are already done. Yeah. But here's the thing. I don't think, again, I think that would have happened with male vocalists too. I think what you're saying is we might have, like, obviously for a song like this, we could have gone with a, a deeper a deeper female vocalist who has a more bombastic style, right? Right. And that might have... Which, which I don't think exists on Fiverr. There must be. there Because I, I think what we would have needed is like a mezzo-soprano or something. Yeah. Or what? what's the one below mezzo-soprano? I can't remember, but whatever's below mezzo-soprano. Um, I don't know what... Again, I don't know what the vocal ranges are here. So maybe, maybe that's off base. But... But again, I think what we're getting is kind of a... But I think both of the vocalists that we got so far have a lighter sounding vocal range, right? Like they're a right, little bit more right. light. But but that's only certain... That's like, you know, certain vocal styles are that way. That's like the like the Dolly Parton range or something. Do you know what I mean? But but there's the, you know... Um, uh, oh God, what's her name? Uh, Amy Winehouse range, right? There's the right. the Beyonce range. Um, I think it just might be, I think the way Fiverr does its searches is a little odd. And I feel like, like maybe I didn't understand the search procedure. So maybe this is something you can do and I just wasn't doing it, but I felt like I should have been able to search by vocal range or I should have been able to search by genre or something. Do you know what I mean? Cause like it. Or by analogy, like if somebody says, I can sing in the style of Aretha Franklin. Do you know what I mean? I know what I'm getting. Um, and Well, Fiverr is about all kinds of creative gigs, not just music. So okay. Okay. one of the problems there is that even if you type in female vocalist, you're just going to get... When I type in female vocalist metal... I still get all the female vocalists. I okay. Don't, it doesn't. It doesn't break down the way I wish it would. Okay. And like we talked about in the last episode, a lot of it's EDM, a lot of it's pop, a lot of it's RMD. So yep. we're what we're doing is trying to wedge other vocalists into this style. Yeah. And they've been accommodating, right? Whenever I've asked for changes, they've been great about it. Um, the the I dealt with a third vocalist earlier today, and what she turned in, I you've heard it already. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I did. And I was not impressed. Well, and we should probably save that for when we get to that one. But yeah, I feel yeah, yeah. like I feel like, but with this one, I kind of like you. You're right. This is definitely more pop style vocals. I don't yeah. question that at all. But I kind of like that. I kind of like yeah. bringing in the pop sound over the metal. Um, and I know that that's not going to appeal to every metal fan. But every once in right. a while, I'll hear hear a band where I'm like, this singer sounds like, you know, like very. Uh, just easy on the ears. Do you know what I mean? And sometimes yeah. I kind of want that. You know, metal also pairs well with power, so I understand why people might want something a little bit more heavy sounding on the vocal end. But I kind of enjoyed it, and I I feel like for for water, I feel like it kind of makes sense because what I'm sort of visualizing is the deepness of the music is the water, and the vocals are kind of like I don't know how to put it like either the boat or the people or whatever's going on that's sort of do you know what I'm saying like there's like yeah. a it feels like it all kind of works together to me um, don't get me wrong I really like her voice and this recording I like this one more than the first one um, but you would just so, rather have somebody who's like a, a deeper range or something yeah or... I, one of the things I, I don't think we have a hit on our hands per se right if this was our demo and we turned it in we wouldn't be surprised if the record company said no. Yeah. We're gonna well, pass. yeah, but the, uh, well, there's a lot of reasons for that. So number one, this isn't the most well thought out song in the world. We, no, no, no. We, we get we we gave people very quick instructions. We 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 went we did it on the cheap, so we knew that people that were submitting these things weren't using the best equipment in the world. weren't right. Do you know what I mean? And 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 we only got like two or three back and forths, right? So it wasn't like we got remember how I was telling you like I feel like a lot of these a lot of what I'm hearing especially when I get the vocals in is the first few jam sessions of a song that's probably going to be really good in like a month or two when this right. band really hashes it right. out right. And, Absolutely. and 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 what we're getting now is we're is you're not going to get something that's even hashed out yet so uh so yeah I would I, I'm saying I agree with you this is not a hit this is not a hit um but 
that said, I'm enjoying listening to it. I've played this about 20 times now with her voice. Um, just And again, when I'm doing the mixing, I'm listening to it even more because I'm trying to get the right levels of everything. And the, for me, the entire experiment has just been a blast. So I am not going to poo-poo anybody that's working on this. No, it's, they've all been great. I think I think we're trying have. to be critical of our production process more than yeah, people's yeah, yeah, yeah. vocals yeah. or their their stuff. You know, I think she has a very sweet voice. I, I I really actually when I heard her voice, my my I come from a musical family, and my cousin Sammy has a has a very uh, high voice and a very light sounding voice, just like this woman. And I it reminded me a lot of her voice. Um, so I I I find vocals like this very nice. But but again, what what matters here is are we pairing the right vocalist with the right melody right. that we've asked for, and are we pairing the right instruments together, and are we giving people the instructions that are getting the best performances out of them, right? Because why, why don't you play it again so we can hear it one more time? I do, know you, we played it at the top, but let's do you want me to again. play it right now, just on the thing? Yeah, yeah, just on the, on the thing, like we did. All with right. The reaction video. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. It's um oh hold on. Okay, now it's going. I just want to pause it there. She's got like a, a gruffness in her voice too that I didn't notice the first time that I think is really nice. Um, there's like a like a like a little bit of a hoarseness to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That gives it kind of a tough edge. There's this there's this sort of semi sour sound at the beginning when she's starting. Yeah. That I really dig, um, and I like how that came together. And I didn't have to. I didn't even have to direct that right or cajole that out of her. That she did that on her own. So I think the choices that she's making are smart choices based on what she had to work with. Um, and her lyric choices are great. I think the lyrics here are better than the first one too. Yeah, I mean, I would be inclined to say in the future we, we should be, I like her vocals enough that I would rather write to her vocals than find a different vocalist to match. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think, yeah, I, I like yeah, what yeah, she yeah. does. But okay, we'll continue. And so one other thing, this is only a minute long song. So we're trying to get a lot in a minute. Yeah. And, and again, I think this gets back to the structure thing I was talking about before. We need to give like the, vo the vocalists need the right structure. Cause remember you were talking about unleash the archers. And sometimes when you're listening to them, you, you disliked her trying to fight with whatever the guitar was doing to right, insert right. the vocals. We, we need, we need to make sure that we're providing the vocalist with the right space to insert. This is the chorus. This is, you know, whatever right. this is. And so, you know, this song, the structure is, it's, it's a little bit odd. It's almost, you know how Roy Orbison music has a very odd musical structure to it. It kind of yeah. reminds me of the Roy Orbison structure of music, which is, I guess we're just going on a big crescendo from the, yeah, yeah like, like that's kind of what we're doing. So, and that's right. probably a byproduct of it being a minute long. Yeah. Um, yeah. But but I I like her voice. I think uh, I think that I I think this is the best that we got out of all of them. To be to be perfectly frank, um, you think her voice is better than all the other, the instruments as well? No no the well I don't know. That's that's like apples and oranges. That's really hard to okay. compare. I just uh, just trying to clarify what you meant. But I, I I mean we could have that conversation, but I'd have to really think because. That's a difficult question to answer, but I think I like her vocals the best out of all the vocals that we've heard, including the third one. You know, like yeah. I, th I think, I think I would put her at the top. the The third one was not cheap, and she's coming. I'll, I should have it in a couple hours here. Once I gave her notes on what it should sound like, 
Uh, we'll talk about it on the third record, on the next record. Yeah, maybe I haven't heard enough of the third vocalist because maybe what yeah. I was hearing was pre-baked material that wasn't quite ready. And so yeah. Uh, yeah. maybe that'll change my mind. Um, but but yeah, so so but I, but I think she, I think this this is a this is a uh, you know for twelve dollars I think this is very successful and I feel like with better preparation you could get a much better result on the whole. Um, yeah, yeah. So so I don't know any other thoughts on this one. No, I'm anxious to get the other two. I'm anxious to get these online so people can hear them. Uh, again, this is just a great process for me. Yeah, this is very interesting. I, 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 it was quite eye opening to do this. Um, so we'll end it here. Then we'll be back on with what is it? Number three, right? That's the next one. The third vocalist. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, so we will talk to you later. <laughs>